racism. Racism is a fact of life for a black man or a black woman who chooses to go into business. Instead of treating it the way that most of the people treated in this country acting like it's ignorance is not ignorance when it comes down to your damn money. When you see racism nowadays, when you see it on TV, everyone usually tries to dismiss it because no one likes to even admit that it's there. So maybe your mother, your grandfather, they'll tell you, oh, you know, they're racist or they'll just say it's synonymous with being ignorant. You know what I mean? It's not ignorant when a dude is, it doesn't like somebody and he goes get a gun. It's not ignorant when when someone uh, tries to stop you from having a job. Or you know what I mean? It's not ignorant when they want to make sure you don't uh, they won't do business with you. So I don't like the idea of calling something ignorance when they, we have to deal with it on a daily basis and it's part of our lives. To dismiss problems the way that a lot of people do and just say don't worry about it we can't afford to do that I don't do that in my life and I don't do that in my business you understand what I mean there's always these issues when you go and apply for a job you understand what I mean not only are you sitting there saying I'm qualified you're trying to ascertain whether this person is scared of you or is gonna you know pass you by primarily because with racism in order for racism to work we have to ask someone else for something and since most of us who grow up, we always feel the need to go and get a job instead of start something of our own, we always have to do it, deal with it. The answer to all questions is always to start something of your own. The answer to all problems is to start something of your own. Because as a black man and me running my own business, I don't have to deal with the shit that about 90 to 85 percent of you cats have to deal with. No one's stopping me from making more money. If I deal with racist customers, I just move on. There's a million of them. But there's not a million jobs for all you motherfuckers that keep working on a plantation. You keep saying, I want to work for the New York Times. I want to work for Sony. I want to work for Mattel. I want to work for Lockheed Martin. I want to work for Northrop. I want to work for NASA. You want to keep working for all these places and you know that when you go in as a black man, you're going to have to deal with a certain amount of blowback. Primarily because you're black, which has nothing to do with you being able to do your job. But since we don't control things, we have to deal with things. And one of the main things we have to deal with is racism. Racism is often confused by a lot of people. The younger you are, you think it has much more to do with someone calling you a name. Uh, you know, not liking you or not, not wanting you to eat at certain places and all that shit is minor. Wait till you get to open up a business and you have people. Cause I've dealt with it. I've sat across from Chinese people Jewish people, German people, regular old American white bread people, you understand what I mean, Pakistani people, and all of them have a racist point of view towards black people, you understand what I mean, and they think that you're doing good, I even had one guy say, yeah, you're, you're doing good, I've never met a black guy like you, and I just responded, you've probably never met any black people, so I'm glad I can represent for the race in a good way, you know what I mean, I don't like to deal with it. But it's, you have, what we have in this country is the racism that has been put against us or perpetrated against us has been exported all over the world. You understand what I mean? So you, it's hard to go any place without someone having an opinion of black folks. Uh, we are the poster boy for racism. We are the, the blueprint for discrimination. We are the, 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 you know, when you open up the chapter in the dictionary and you look up racism, there's probably a black guy. You understand what I mean? And yeah, it's just who we are. They, they can discriminate against all kinds of races and religions, but we're the main ones. And all of us know that. So instead of being scared and going about this shit like a coward, like most people do when it comes to racism, it's best that we be prepared for it. And the way you prepare for dealing with people who like you, who don't like you for reasons that you don't control, is one, to always think of a way to, to have less interaction with them the least amount of interaction with them. When I open up a business, it remained one of the main reasons why I went to international trade. Because I don't have to deal with the average white boy here in the United States for a damn thing. You understand what I mean? I, they don't, I don't, if that's the main person who's going to be discriminated or discriminate against me, then I need to make sure my interaction with them is as least as possible when it comes to my money. Now I know that. Some of you haven't got there yet. 
some of you guys, when you think of opening up a business, you think about putting it right in the middle of the white people's neighborhood because that's where you feel comfortable, even though you can make the same money with black people. And you don't have to deal with racism because we're all the same race. This is a, 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 a dilemma a lot of us face because when you go to school and you get educated and you get the degree and you, you learn all these things, you could be a computer scientist and you know all the programming languages, you know how to do everything, a network engineer, you can do all these things. And the common denominator, the thing that fucks you up is that you're sitting there with a white guy who doesn't believe you're capable of doing what you, what you say you can do, even though you have done it before. So what you have is a, is a gatekeeper. The gatekeeper this time is not based off of uh, dumb, I mean, you know, regular stuff that doesn't like you or something like that. This has much more to do with your whole race. And there's nothing you can do about it. But except what the other people, the older generation, tell us to hope and pray and all this dumb shit. Well, I'm part of a new generation. And my solution at all times is to, to not even be in that situation. See, when I advocate on here for us to start a business, it's because I want you to be in a powerful position. I want you to be in the position that when, if something racist comes up, it doesn't matter. You have two or three more people that you're going to go do business with. There's a million people to do business with. There's not as many million people to get a job from. Remember that when you're on that plantation, there's only so many plantations. But in business, there's a lot of business. So we can avoid that by going into business. But let me give you some remedies that I've come up with in my life. What I've done is that, like I said, I've lessened my interaction with people. I don't, I don't get on the phone and make phone calls to people. Because just like you, brother, I can hear your voice when I pick up the phone, whether you're from Nigeria, whether you're from Jamaica, whether you're from Sao Paulo, Brazil, whether you're from Memphis, all the way up to Oakland. And we all know each other's voice. We know a black dialect. Everyone acts like you can't hear it, but we can hear it. This is how you know to relax and talk to people regular when you get on the phone. Because once we, it's a comforting thing to have people. It's not a negative. It's a comforting thing. You understand what I mean? For my, for my Hispanic homies, they know when they hear someone, they know if someone can speak Spanish. Even when they say English, by the way they enunciate the English words, they know that they're speaking to someone who can speak Spanish. We have that too in the dialect and how we speak to each other. Now, the reason why I said I lessen my interaction is because other people hear it too. And if I'm ever going to be in a position to beg people for something, I'd rather that I don't even talk to them. I'd rather send an email. Thank God for the internet. You understand what I mean? Because I lessen my interaction with everybody by using the internet. I lessen my interaction with truckers and everybody I might need in my business. I lessen my interaction with it. So when you think about doing business, one of the easiest way to get around racism is to, lead, to lessen your interaction. Number two is always to deflect that you're the owner. All right. If they think you're speaking on behalf of someone else, they assume that the person you're speaking on behalf or you're speaking for maybe is a white guy. You understand what I mean? So if they think you're a salesman. There's been plenty of times that I've been out on business trips or things like that. And they think that someone else is the, uh, you know, is their owner of the company. And I don't have no reason to go against it. I'm trying to make money, homie. I'm not trying to tell everybody I run the company. So when I got in there, oh, you're the, you're the salesman for it? Yeah, I, I, I go around and try to pick up some sales. So whatever you need, you know, we can take care of it for you. And I do that at all times, right? I'm not hiding who I am. I'm obviously a black man. You understand what I mean? What I'm doing is that I'm concentrating on my money. And if this bigot needs to believe that uh, Mary Poppins is my gut, is the owner of the company, let the bigot have it, homie. You know what I mean? I'm trying to make money. You understand what I mean? Period. You know, most people, especially if you do enough business, they don't always meet the owner. You haven't met the owner of the McDonald's or the franchise of the McDonald's that you go in on a daily basis. So keep that in mind and always don't even worry about naming that you own a company. Deflect it. And if somebody says, oh, you're a salesman, just run with it. Don't even sweat it. The next thing to deflect to get around a lot of racism is to do open up businesses and simple things. You know what I mean? Like I use the example of McDonald's just now. You can own a hundred hamburger places, man, in the middle of the, of the widest neighborhoods. They won't know what the hell unless you put your goddamn picture on the front and act like you're Bob Big Boy. You understand what I mean? But no one would really know. 
if you don't announce it because you no one ever worries about who the owner of the company is so it's hard to discriminate against the owner you understand what I mean when you do business and you get things that say you open up a restaurant and you want to buy meat or you want to buy lettuce you you tend lean towards the bigger companies because no one has to worry about you having the individual mandate they just see money see most of the bigger companies when you get into the big companies they just want the contract you ever seen when a coca-cola salesman goes around coca-cola doesn't care who the hell they they talking to they just want to get their coca-cola in there right they're not worried about it you have to think in a similar fashion the smaller the item that people have to pay the less they worry about who delivers it to them you got to keep this in mind the bigger it is the more discrimination you'll get the more racism you'll get so if you're selling hamburgers you know anything skirts or something like that no one's gonna pay attention you start selling houses you start selling uh, uh, cars you start uh, uh, selling uh, businesses and anything dealing with high-end business you're gonna run smack dab into it now I'm not telling you to go against it and not go into the business that you want to go into I'm just telling you there's an easier route now when I say all these things all these solutions I'm not trying to get you to avoid racism there's no reason to run from it it's part of the game it is what it is see when you come into business you have to recognize that you're here to make money we're not here to, to cure the ills of the world I'm not here to make shit better for you I'm not here to do that I'm here to make money I'm here to enrich myself and better myself and do for myself I'm not here for all that other shit so my goal is to get rid of all the petty shit for a lot of black people, we don't realize this. We think if we do something similar to other people, they're going to accept it. And we get mad when it's not accepted. But you're not them, and they're not us. So since they're not us, we shouldn't take all their remedies to these things because they don't live it. See, you being black in business is not a rarity because there's plenty of black people in business. It's just that in, con in consideration or in with the scale of all the other races, it might not look like a lot of people. And you might be in an area where there's not a lot of black people to know that there's a lot of black businesses. You understand what I mean? If you come down south, you see a lot more. If you come to certain parts of Los Angeles, if you go to certain parts of Oakland, you see it a lot more. But when you're in these areas and, and people haven't seen them, because most of the people who are in these positions, these gatekeepers for you, they haven't seen the world. They're from wherever the hell they're from. Kentucky, um, Ohio, you understand what I mean? Uh, what they like to call salt of the earth people, real Americans, in other words, white. You understand what I mean? And this is where they put their companies. They put them in Arkansas. So you have to go to Arkansas to get your, your items put up in Walmart. Do you, how many black people do you think are in uh, that part of Arkansas, Bentonville, Arkansas, deciding if you're going to get your product in, in, uh, in Walmart today? So when you set up your business and you ask these other people, and this is another thing of racism to really avoid it, primarily you want to stay away from ever asking anyone to give you a chance. And I know some people are going to say, well, Freeman, how are we going to get into business if no one gives us a chance? That's because when you rely on other people to give you an opportunity, they have the right or the opportunity to turn you down. Now, this was a perfectly running world, the one that where all you uh, people who believe in Jesus, when Jesus comes back, if this was a perfectly running world, guess what? You would say, well, everybody would treat each other the same if Jesus was here, but he ain't. So since he's not here, guess what we have to do? There's a good opportunity that the person who's never met black people only believes what they see on TV. And as a result, when you come along saying, I can supply spacely sprockets to, to Walmart, that person might sit back and say, well, I don't believe he can do it. A lot of you cats who go and get government contracts, you know what I mean? When you sit down, this is, let me give you another one. This is the reason why the government tries to do blind contracts, because they're trying to get rid of the discrimination. If there's no people involved, do you understand what I mean? That they can't see the people, they're going to pick the right contract. They're doing that to get rid of a lot of the prejudices and the racism. You got to understand that what we're dealing with as a race was something that we didn't create, but we have to deal with. It is what it is. Let's stop acting like it's ignorance and let's stop acting like it's uh, going to be remedied by everybody praying together. It's not going to happen. So when I tell you primarily 
about racism, what to do with it. Again, remember, I'm not trying to tell you to avoid it like we're cowards. I'm telling you that we're here for another reason. We're here for the mission to build something for ourselves. And you need to understand that it exists. Not that it's sitting here and somebody's hoping that you, uh, that it goes away and that when you get in the business, it won't go away. You need to think strategically about how you're going to get your money and how you're going to avoid dumb shit like this to, that are hindrances to your money. It will always be here until black people get something of their own. It will never disappear. Until we write our own tickets, we got to go buy tickets from them, from other people. So you have to be aware and prepare for these things. To wrap up this thing about racism, let me throw in something bigger for you. We don't like to talk about it. There's going to be plenty of black folks who just don't like to talk about it. We like to pray it away and I don't know and make up words like ignorance and all this other shit to what's really going on. And as long as we do that, we're always going to have a problem. You need to confront it. And I don't mean confront it like punch somebody in the goddamn jaw. If you feel it, go ahead and do it. I can care less, man. And once you have your own business and once you have your own thing and once you can stand on your own too and be your own man or woman and no one can take it away from you. I don't see any reason for someone that if a man feels he can come up and disrespect me in front of my face, I'm going to destroy his ass. Nobody's firing me tomorrow. You fuck with the wrong one. But when you deal with racism, you have to be able to understand what is the, the true nature of racism? What are they trying to do? They're trying to stop people from advancing. Right? So the thing is, if you're not creative enough to, to sidestep it, to get around it, then you're going to be trapped and you're letting other people determine how far we can go. The reason why I gave you Alibaba on the website is because I wanted you to see that you don't have to deal with these people if you don't want to. In fact, Alibaba is probably the purest form of commerce, meaning you can go buy something from a Chinese person or a Turkish person sight unseen. They don't give a fuck who you are. There's no racism involved and you can get it shipped all the way over here. If your money's good, then it's the transaction's good. Keep that in mind when you build. Racism is a problem that we can all overcome. It's not, especially in businesses, because we have to make money. We have to do these things to prosper. Be prepared for it. Don't be scared of it. Don't lie about it. You understand what I mean? You have to come up with remedies. This is what makes us special. This is what makes us a, a good group of people that we are able to adapt and create and, and do something else. In the midst of all these damn problems and all these things against us, we're still going to be just fine. We're still going to prosper, but you can't afford to get caught up in it and don't ignore it next time, partner.